Hey, this is Mitch with Titan Nutrition. I want to talk about knee pain today. And uh, a lot of us, especially when we get working out, uh, maybe we haven't trained for a while, we're trying to get back in the gym, we start to get sort of that generalized knee pain. In the clinical world, I would call it patellofemoral pain, where maybe our kneecap isn't tracking just exactly where we want it. So I want to start talking about a few different exercises that'll help with that. So when we talk about the knee, it's important we understand that the knee's the dumbest joint in the body. So all it does is follow what the ankle and the foot and the knee, I'm sorry, and the hip tell it to do. So we gotta look above and below the knee to understand what's controlling it. So first place I'd like to start is looking at ankle mobility because most of us don't have enough ankle mobility. So we can do a self ankle dorsiflexion joint mode. So I'm just gonna use a band. I'm just gonna stand on one end and the other part of the band, the loop here, I'm gonna put around my ankle. So it's important we put this loop right over the front of the ankle. It's gonna lock my ankle in. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knee forward until I feel end range of motion and then I'm just gonna do small little oscillations here. So it's important I have to stay over my second or third toe. I don't wanna collapse in, I wanna keep everything straight in line. And I'm just gonna work small little oscillations challenging that range of motion. And so I may do like four or five sets, about 15 oscillations, just trying to free that ankle up. Now from here I like to go to a core engaged bridge. Now a lot of people talk about bridging um, it's important because it does teach glute control, but I like to do a core engage uh, bridge because what happens is a lot of people bridge, instead of using their glutes, they use their low back. And so if I do a, a, a kind of a pull down movement with the band, I engage the anterior side of my core, the front of my core, which allows my backside to really relax. And now I really isolate it into a true glute bridge. So we're just gonna hop down on the floor here. So I'm gonna take my band, bring my arms down. As soon as I bring my arms down, my core has to turn on. So it has to stabilize. Now I can bridge, and I like to hold this for about 10 seconds, then hips down, arms back up. So I always start and end the movement with my arms. So I make sure that I get that good trunk stability prior to bridging. And so this is really gonna to work to teach that hip control, that glute control. So I like to do one or two sets of about 10 reps for 10 seconds each. Next exercise I want to look at is a, uh, a mini band hip rotation. So I'm just going to take a mini band and pick these up all kinds of different places. I put it up just above my knees. Now I'm going to get an athletic stance. One knee stays fixed the whole time. The other leg I'm going to rotate in, rotate out just working on some hip control. So now I'm really looking at how well can I control this hip down to the foot. I want to try to keep my feet flat. You can do it on both sides here. I don't want to get into this where I'm really compensating down to the foot. I'm just trying to keep that foot flat, rotating the hip in and out. Give me about three sets of 12. Should be good there. And then the last exercise I want to look at is just a simple sit to stand. So we can use a chair, a box, use your bed, whatever it is, I'm gonna start down here where I'm seated and I wanna go single leg. Now the goal here is to put everything together we just worked on. So how do I control this knee, not allow it to collapse in, control the foot and the hip, so I don't wanna see any of what we call a valgus collapse where this knee falls in. I'm gonna put my other foot out here in front, hands on my hips, um, and lean forward, so I have to lean forward to get my uh, center mass over my foot, and then I just stand up out of it. Some common mistakes that you'll see is people will let, let that knee fall in, that's gonna lead to more knee pain, so we wanna make sure we're not doing that. And then if this is too difficult, I can vary it a couple ways. I can make my seat a little bit higher, or I can just drop this other heel, and now I do a sit to stand with a little bit of assist from the other leg. So all those things are gonna to start to teach that hip control, that ankle mobility, so now you can get rid of that knee soreness, that knee pain that you may have.